right now what I'm going to do is determine how big I need a paddock for a 107 head of 700 pound stalkers. And I determine that by the available forage, how much I have here. Since I'm going to hook to a, a wire fence, I'm going to use some insulated water, wire to make a gate handle. You can do this several different ways. I got this, or where them things go? Aha. Uh -huh. Or we can use an insulator. I like to use these because it's just quick and easy. What I do is twist it and make a little loop right there. And then I I'll hook it. And then I'll grab a, a bigger post, what I call a corner post. And I'll make a gate right here. Now we use these bigger posts because they're easier to use. Stouter. What we do is just kind of double the wire and then run it through one of these holes about belt high. And I can tighten this however tight I need it. The problem with some of these terraces or hills or low spots. I kind of run back down through there and make sure it's going to be about the right height. And now what I'll do is I'll string this wire out, make a corner, and then we'll go make another corner, and then we'll come back to the permanent fence, and then I'll come back through and put our post in. <laughs> I know I need to stop here and put a corner in. So I'll put a corner in. Then I'll do my wire the same way. I'll double it and pinch it together and get a loop. Then I'll put it in a hole that I know I need. And then wrap it around the post. And pull that through and that'll hold it right there. And what I do is I just count off about 10 yards, 10, 11 yards, and put my post in. And I just wrap it once. And then just measure, measure the height that I want. Here I knew it was going to be too tall because of the slope. So I do, since my fence is already pretty tight, I can put this step in, in, step in, in, and then pull it down the way I want it. Putting in a corner post here, and I'm going to run it to the next corner post. And the reason I do that is because when the cows lie down around the shade, sometimes they might stick their head across here. And when they raise up, they'll hit that on their back and they'll shoot out and get out from my pen. And I always carry a spare roll with me in case I need to make any amends to the fence or because it's real easy to add this to the fence if we need to add a piece in. So I'd run it, I'd run this one about knee high and then just make a simple tie. Then I would, I just pull off what I need, and then I cut it, and then just tie this in about knee high or so, and get the tension I want. Cut a piece off. Just get it good and snug.
Since I knew I was going to use step ends on this stretch of fence, I pulled my wire tighter because I know I'm not going to wrap around the post to get it any tighter. So I'll just walk down through here and step these in. What I'm doing here is I'm going to put a corner in, corner post, and use the reel as a gate handle. That way I have gates on both sides. What we're going to do is uh, hook this solar charger up to our fence and the first thing we do is drive a ground rod and on temporary fences we don't drive it all that deep like you would if it's a permanent fence <clears throat> we have our alligator clips this is our ground wire we're going to connect it to the ground rod clip our red wire to the fence one thing I'd recommend is getting a fault finder so you can check your fences daily, which is what I do. And see right now it's a 0.81. So I'm thinking, well, where's the trouble? One thing is our, our ground come off. And that can happen, a rabbit could hit it, anything, because we've got it on alligator clips. So we found the trouble and we're going to check it again. And now it's a 9.2. Hey, what I do is I, I use this tape, colored tape, at a gate, and all I do is just tie it, wrap it around tight, cut it. Another tip is to get a reel that is geared. These are like one to one. They're harder to roll up. These newer reels, they are geared three to one, which they'll roll up three times faster as that one. And it's a lot easier to roll up a fence. Mm -hmm. 